happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I think November the 22nd, if I'm not mistaken. It is like six something in the morning and I am up getting ready to go to work on the day before Thanksgiving. Yes. Yes, 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 I am. Yesterday was a tomfoolery of a day. And I'll probably have to tell y'all a little a little story when we get in the car. Because I didn't get my life together and go into the damn office this morning. And I'm frustrated <laughs> about having to go through the damn office today, y'all. Y'all just don't know. Hair like I'm gonna be real hood ghetto today at the office. Like we're gonna burst it back into a ponytail. That's about all they're gonna get out of me. Like we not even put in that much of an effort today. I'm over it already. Just gonna rock this bad boy today. Like I said, I'm not even. I know I got some in my car. So if I switch it out, I switch it out. If I remember, I remember. If I don't, don't. They gonna get what they get today. Like literally. Boom. That's it. So teeth brush face washed. I'm all dressed in all black. I have on I'm not for everyone today. Sweatshirt. My black cargo pants from Abercrombie. We are gonna blow throw on my black tennis shoes from Reebok and call it a day because and then i'm gonna blow throw on my black bomber jacket from kalana barfield and target collection let's see what time it is it's 6 43 oh, i'm running so far behind y'all not like to get to work at a certain time and i want to stop by and get some starbucks this morning because I, I fucking deserve it okay let me just tell you that to get up and be responsible, I fucking deserve it. <laughs> if anybody else would be like, my internet's out, I'm not working today. <sighs> yeah, I ain't being a good responsible employee and going to damn work into the office. <sighs> I'm so aggravated. <sighs> Let's see. And then she told me coming today, so I'm praying. That this damn spectrum store is open on the day before Thanksgiving. I'm assuming there is, but we can't assume everything. So if I go into work and then I go to this store and they ain't open, I'm just really. The employee told me to come out tomorrow. She didn't say they was closed, so <laughs> they better not be closed today. <laughs> oh, this is going to be the icing on the cake, you guys. The icing on the damn cake. But let me get my life together. And uh, I'll come back. Oh, y'all probably want to see my outfit. I ain't got on nothing today, y'all. Let me just show y'all right quick. Excuse my, my closet. Okay. Black sweatshirt. Black cargo pants. Black tennis shoes. Black bomber jackets right there. Boom. All black. Let's go. I'll see you guys in the car. All right, you guys. We're in the car. It's 7 o'clock. So, like I said, running behind. Or whatnot. Because I was really trying not to go into the office today. <laughs> I was really just like, don't you worry about it, girl. Don't you worry about it. But it is what it is. But we're not staying all day. Like I said, we're just going to stay for a couple hours. Maybe about 11 o'clock. And then we'll go down to the Spectrum store. And hopefully their computers are working and I can get a new router. And hopefully that solves my issue. Hopefully that is the problem. I'm praying that is the problem because if it's not, I don't know what else it could be. Because the modem is fine. All the little lights are on. It's just that the router light is not coming on. It's staying green, whatever that means. They say it's supposed to be blue, child. All these damn colors. <laughs> Any hoozy. So, yeah. So, yesterday was just crazy because it stopped going out probably about. Then my internet went out about. 9 30 ish or so. so i was working for about two hours or so and um i had a meeting and i was like oh my gosh my internet's out so i kind of like text 
I sent the Slack message to the guy over to me and I was like, hey, my internet's out, it's storming. I just assumed it was because of the storm. And um, I was like, just send me in the Slack the, the, um, the link to the meeting and I'll just join from my phone. I said, but it might be a little slotchy since I don't have the internet. I said, I live like out in the sticks, so I don't get good reception anyway. And he was like, okay, cool. Um, so I did manage to get on the meeting. It was, the meeting lasted for a minute. It lasted almost two hours. It was only supposed to be an hour because we were just trying to solve a lot of problems and just get everything situated. So I needed to send out some emails, update some um, Sherlock tickets. It is, you know, imperative because we supposed to have been had this done, but we had a misunderstanding of what she needed. They weren't very clear, and I thought I knew, and that was just my my mistake not calling to verify what she meant. I gave her what she, I thought she asked for, and that's not what they asked for. So. We got a lot of clarity on it. And I've been thought we should have had a meeting about it, but everybody was like, no, we'll just get what's in the list. And then they can tell us, you know, if it's what they want or not. And of course it wasn't what they wanted. Uh, Cause you know, I'm all about jumping on the meeting and clarifying what people want. Cause I hate wasting time. And that's basically what we did. We wasted a lot of time um, not getting for the clarification. And so um, we were able to get most of the report, but two of the item, two to three of the items are stuff that I, we can't pull. They have to come from another team. And so um, I have to go and like reach out to them and tell them what I need specifically and figure out how to get it. Um, so that's what I gotta do today. Uh, I know it's not gonna be done this week, I told her, because of course everybody's freaking on vacation now. Um, but next week we're gonna be like, I'm gonna be on people's butt, like down and dirty. Like I need this information, I need it like ASAP. So I'm gonna need you to figure it out, get your TS, do what you gotta do type situation um, to get it out of that system. And a lot of people don't like take the responsibility for their area. They just be like, I don't know. And then they just leave it at that. That's not an acceptable answer when it's your area and we need information from you. If you don't know how to do it, you need to go find somebody on your team or your technical support person and figure out how to get it. It's not my job to dig down into, you know, getting stuff that you asked me for. It doesn't make any sense. So that was agitating as well. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to do right quick in the end I just I was just agitated yesterday we had to leave the house and go to the spectrum store because the lady was like oh I got on like the chat thing because I, I don't know why I got on the chat I should have called somebody but anyway I got on the chat thing and the one lady was going through everything with me and we got down to the end where she said I needed a new router and for some reason the whole chat started over and so the new lady who came on the chat was like oh you didn't respond in a timely manner. I was like, I was like, lady, I responded in the same instance, and she responded. So how I didn't respond in a timely manner? I don't think that's what that was. I think the lady, she cut me off. She was done, and she cut me off with her trifling butt. And um, so the new lady wasted a whole bunch of time because she made me do all the same steps again that the previous lady made me do. And then by the time I got to the store, the lady said their system was down. It was like 30 minutes before the store closed. And their system was down. And um, she came in. She's like, oh, you know, you came in. Our system just went down. I don't think their system is down. I think they had 30 minutes till they closed. They didn't want to be bothered. So they said their system was down. They weren't trying to help nobody or get nothing. You know how they go. And so I was really upset about that because I, yeah, ain't shit I can do. I can't prove your system not down. Because uh, then if your system down, why are you asking me what I even needed? What you was asking me so you can see if you can get it real quick? <laughs> like, no, ma'am. You be like, my system down. You have to come back in the morning for whatever it is need. You ain't going to care what the person trying to get. Because you can't get it for them. It don't matter. <laughs> so, I really don't think their system was down. But, I can't do nothing about that. So, that's why I'm stuck going to fucking work today. For that reason. Because I could not get my router yesterday to see if that would fix my internet problem today. So, here we are at 6.58 in the morning. On the day before Thanksgiving, going into fucking work. Now you see why my face look like this. <laughs> but anywho, I'm gonna finish listening. Oh, y'all! Before I go, I gotta talk about this book. Okay, Ethic. So y'all know we read Moth to a Flame for our November book club. I finished it in October, and then Alicia started reading Ethic, and she like, yo, she gotta read Ethic. 
And if you know the book, Ethic is one of the characters in the book. And so she made a spinoff series about Ethic and Ethic alone. I think it's six books. I'm on the second book now. The first book, Ethic need his ass whooped. Whooped, beat down to the ground. I thought Ethic was the man. Should have known he wasn't because he was a drug dealer, okay? A kingpin. And he ain't shit. Let me just tell you that. Ethic ain't shit. Okay? The, the, I don't understand anything about why he did what he did in his first book. And I'm on to the second one. And Alicia told me it just get worse. But I have, I'm, I'm invested. I have to figure out what's going on. As much as I'm probably going to hate his damn guts by the end of this these series. I got to know what's going on. And then they wrote a series about Morgan. So then I'm going to have to read Morgan's series too. Okay? Because I'm invested in the characters. Okay? I'm invested in their lives. And I need to know what happened. So I'm about to listen to it. So I can be even more pissed at his ass. But find out what happened so let me know down below if you've read this series because i'm only on book two no damn spoilers um and then they don't have no more audio books so i i get it i got the first two audio books from the library because it was free but they don't have the rest of them so i know alicia has all of them and i'm gonna see if i can go check them out from the library um the rest of them i know i was supposed to read some other stuff this month but i, I, I gotta know what happened y'all i gotta know what happened like i need to know like immediately and I won't be able to go to the library until, what, probably Saturday or something? The library probably closed day. Day for Thanksgiving. They probably closed on, they are closed on Thanksgiving. I don't know if they closed on Black Friday. I'm sure they're open on Saturday. So I might need to go up and, like, look and see who got the books. Because sometimes they won't be in certain areas, certain neighborhoods. They'll be, like, in the neighborhoods, like, where I grew up. <laughs> I have to go all the way to the west side to pick up the books. But that's fine with me, baby. It's fine with me because I'm about to get every last one of them. So, I will check in with you guys later. But I had to talk about that because uh, it's so good, y'all. It's so good and it's so bad. <laughs> All right, guys. So, I'm out of work. It's 10 or 12. And I'm about to find the closest Spectrum store to go get this router. Let's see where one is near me. Homewood, Montclair. Montclair is the closest one. I'm trying to see where it is in Montclair. Where is that store at? Let's see what the outside look like. Oh, I know where that is. Okay. Uh, what's the best way for me to go? Probably down. Okay, so let's go to the Spectrum store and hopefully this new router will restore my internet because I wasn't able to edit the vlog either. So if I can't restore my internet, there's not going to be no vlog today at all. Um, and then I don't know what the problem is if I if I can't get internet, they're going to have to send a technician out. I guess if it doesn't work, I don't know what else to do. Hopefully it's just the router though. Um, for real for real but any hoozy that's what i'm doing work was pretty cool this morning i got a lot done a lot of stuff that i wanted to get done that i couldn't get done yesterday uh solved a couple of problems not all the problems didn't solve all the problems but solve some of them <laughs> i still have a lot of work to do that's most likely not going to be finished by uh, the deadline was last week so it's definitely not finished i think the deadline was last friday so it is what it is at this point but if I can work on it a little bit more and have most of it done by next week when my boss get back he can kind of help me with the rest of it I do need like some direction and some help um, or my TS and they're all out for Thanksgiving so I can't really like schedule a meeting with them because they're not here um, to help me with the little pieces that I can't do myself um, but other than that there was a lot of people at work surprisingly I didn't even think that many people would be at work today but there was there was a lot of people at work for sure um, today that it was just really unexpected. Oh, somebody got a flat. They're going to come out and be mad, baby. Oh, I know that's annoying. Um, but yeah, so let's head to the Spectrum store and see what's up. I do need to go by to Walmart and return some stuff that I bought and see. I bought some boots, but I really need a wide because I have wide feet. 
and so they fit kind of tight so I was gonna go see if this other Walmart had them in a wide if they don't I'll just return them I mean they weren't meant to be it is what it is give me back my little money so that's what that is but I will check in with you guys a little bit later I think I'm gonna go buy a Starbucks and get me a, a hot chai that sounds so good right about now it is cold you guys it's 53 degrees today like I'm cold my hands are ashy it's so cold I need to put some lotion on them bad boys and um I'm glad I wore my sweatshirt and my bomber jacket today I, I guess I didn't realize it was gonna be this cold today it's been so nice and pretty and like in the 70s lately that I didn't realize that was gonna be so cold but here's my co-worker calling me so let me answer this you guys hello all right you guys so I'm out of the spectrum store I did get a new router um, and so the guy at the store said most likely that is what it's supposed to be. That's most likely what's wrong with it because I told him it was green. He was like, yeah, it ain't supposed to be green. Um, it should be a blue light or whatever. So hopefully that fixes my problem. I pray that fixes my problem. Um, I'm about to head to the library because I am listening to this Ethic 2. And I just know it's going to end like ridiculously and I'm going to want to read the next book tomorrow. Like I'm going to want to read the book tomorrow since I can't listen to the audio book. So I'm about to head to the library and see if they have the books now the library says it's open but i have a feeling i'm riding over here for no reason and that they really ain't open but we're gonna see we just we're just gonna take them on their word you know they could be lying the website could not be updated because they never do and we're just gonna see we're gonna see if it's open <sighs> all right you guys so i'm out of the library so i told you guys i was originally going to another library but i soon and quickly realized that certain books are not in certain libraries if you know what I mean you know what I mean so I literally had to come to my side of town basically the hood to get the rest of the books because that's where they were located they did not have them in the area I was in because they don't carry those types of books <laughs> most likely um, so yeah but so I picked up all the rest of the books so I'm on ethic book number two so I put, picked up three through six so last time she wrote a book for Ethic was in 2019, so I'm assuming six is the last book. And then I also picked up the Butterfly series, which there's four. I don't know if it's four books, but they only have four books there, one through four. And that's the spinoff other series that's about Morgan Atkins specifically in her life and all the events that I guess will happen. I don't know if it's before or during or the whole lifespan of hers from when her parents to now to until now and beyond the ethic books I don't know but we'll find out together so I'm super excited so baby gonna check out eight books I'm trying to read all these eight books by December 13th can I do it probably not but we're gonna get as many read as we can um, I'm super excited because this is just a really really good series this is like a really good series I haven't read a such a good series in a long time it reminds me if you guys remember iceberg slim I don't even think they allow his books in the library anymore um he was like a pimp from back in the day and he wrote like books based off of his um his real life and things that happened and i remember reading those when i was younger when i was shouldn't have, i shouldn't have read not one of them damn books but i did and it reminds me of those books um and i just devoured every last one of his books as well because they were just so good and so real and everything didn't always end with happy ever after and I could just relate not to like the drug lord stuff but just relate to the being and living in the hood type stuff even though I lived in the hood but I wasn't hood but I still lived in the hood that part um, so um, it was really really good so I, I love those books and this is kind of a series kind of reminds me of those books so that's why I love them so much and it's just a really good ass story that part so if you guys want to pick them up I highly highly recommend like I said they're going to be you're going to be crying, you're going to be laughing, you're going to be mad, you're going to be disgusted, you're going to be angry, you're going to be pissed. You're going to be all the emotions all through the books. Every last single probably one of them. And you're just going to want to be like, what in the hell? But it's still good nonetheless. It's like a good series. It's sort of like The Walking Dead when they started killing everybody off. And you invested in these characters and next thing you know, they no longer exist. Or something happens to them or they get trash just like that. Like, go into it thinking about anybody could go in any time type situation because that, that's exactly what it is um, but it's such a good book though but anyway let me head home I got the router so we'll make sure that works when I get home Jalen has to be to work at 2 o'clock so I'm over here poo-pooing around gotta get my life and then we still gotta stop and get Starbucks because I don't care 
that's what we doing we going to get Starbucks so it is what it is I told him it do what it do baby so let's go get Starbucks and then head home and then by the time we get home the little one probably hop in the car be time to take her to work and then we'll come back home and we'll get some more work done and I promise you at four o'clock today I am clocking out and I shall be reading hopefully I can stay awake because I've been falling asleep early hopefully I can stay awake and read these books like I'm invested I need to know what happened like I need to finish these ethic books like ASAP I need to know what's happening they stringing me along and hurting my heart and, and fucking up my feelings. <laughs> okay, so I need to know what's going on. But yes, I highly, highly recommend them, even though they will put you on the emotional roller coaster. We all here for it. We already know. So I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Sorry about that. What can I get started for you? Yes, ma'am. Can I have the Grande um, gingerbread oat milk chai hot? Grande hot gingerbread oat milk chai. What yep. else for you? That'll be all. What's the name? KK. Okay, 655 at the window. Thank you. Do I have to buy a holiday cup if I want one, or does it come with it? Uh, no, it does not come with it. I'm so sorry. Okay. Can I get one, or y'all don't have any? Um, give me one second. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Which holiday cup did you want? Oh, I don't even know if y'all had. I just want whatever the holiday cup they was giving away that time for free. But oh, the red cup? Yeah, the red cup. Um, I'm not sure if we even have any more of those, honestly. Yeah, I think we're out. Okay, all right, thanks. I'm so sorry. You're fine. Thank you. All right, guys, so we made it to Starbucks, as you saw, and I picked out my drink. No more holiday cups. Boo. I tried to come on that day to give me a reusable holiday cup, but I couldn't make it that day, so whatever. I'll just wash this one out. <laughs> it got holiday stuff on it. But uh, y'all know I got my little gingerbread because that's what I like, okay? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, anyway, we gotta head home. It's almost 12, so I'll go home, plug up the router, see if it starts working or whatnot. And then we'll drop the little one off. And then we'll be working for the rest of the evening and trying to edit this video. If the, if the internet comes up, I have to edit this video. It'll probably go out late tonight, to be honest. It might not, though, because I don't know how long this vlog is. I don't think it's that long. So it might be right on time. If not, it'll be a little bit late, but not like stupidly late. <laughs> but it might be a little late. So we're just making our way home. I know I've been trying to get to the house for 1,500 hours, but I'm on my way, y'all. I'm going. I promise you, I just had a lot of little errands to run in between then and now, okay? I just had a lot of adulting to do today. So, you know, it be like that sometimes. <laughs> so I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Oh, he got one of them little heaters. I can't wait till I get my porch on my back deck. I'm giving me one of them little heaters. I'm be sitting outside. Y'all just, ooh. Let me get my house right. Y'all just don't know. If y'all don't think I don't leave the house now, let me get my damn porch together in the back and get my darn part that's screened in and then the open part with the fire pit and with the uh, jacuzzi. Baby, y'all I ain't never leaving the house. Don't say nothing to me. Okay? Nathan, nada. When I don't leave the house, I'll be like, Kelsey, you out? Nope, and ain't. Whatever I got is right up here in this little house out here in the country. Show is and he is in. That what it gonna be. <laughs> Seriously though, I can't wait you guys. I cannot wait. I'm scheming now how I'm going to figure out how to get all the things that I want. I'm going to get them. It's going to take some time, but I'm going to have them one day. I'm patient. Patiently waiting. It shall be mine. <laughs> Sooner or later. We are back in business. We have the internet. <laughs> the Wi-Fi. It's working. Share passwords. They talk like that. But anyway, um, Jalen's getting ready for work. I'm gonna drop her off in a bit, and then we got some work to do. I need to edit some videos. Get some videos edited. I need to get this stuff sent over to my phone. Thanks for what? Password? Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm See, y'all heard that violence on things. She said she was going <laughs> to punch me. Record it. Proof for the judge of elderly abuse. 
Girl, you got miles of evidence on you. Lots of evidence. Here she comes. Look at her. Look at her. There she go right there. The culprit. Don't be trying to act like you love it on me and then punch me in my back. I see you. See, see, don't talk about Elderly abuse. Oh, he's like, you don't hit me on camera too. Elderly abuse. Where's the proof? Where's the proof? All I do is love and she be mean to me. See, see, see? Mm-hmm. Then when she want to hug later, she going to whine when I don't want to give her one. Mom, no! How? Jesus, Jesus. You ain't sorry, you ever live. You yes, I am. She all she mad because I got a pointy chin. Get your pointy chin ass out of here. <laughs> Put a dent in my damn head. I'm on you. You can't dent over your head. <laughs> Girl, you a bad. Me? Yes, you. Me? Yes. No. Yes. And try again. No, man. Try again. Mm mm mm. <sighs> Let me go. I feel like I've been riding around all day. I'm tired. <laughs> My hair look like I've been riding around all day. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna look like somebody tomorrow though for Thanksgiving. So don't worry about that. But you actually won't see Thanksgiving until after this vlog. Because the first day of Vlogmas is always Thanksgiving. If you know, you know. If you don't, now you do. So I'll be checking with you guys later. Alright, you guys. We are finished. The video is uploading now. And I'm about to wash these dishes and clean off the counters in here right quick. Trying to tidy up the kitchen. And then we are going to go in my room, probably check on the video and then go into my room to see what's going on. Oh, I'm about to plug on my phone. I'm about to die. Tragedy. Let me find my hoop. See if it's going to play. guys so i did chill out for a little bit and get my thumbnail going and get the video up it's currently 8 25 so it's been like an hour or something and so i washed my sheets that's what i was waiting on so i went ahead and washed my sheets because i didn't wash them sunday i usually like to wash my sheets on sunday and this sunday i need to wash my duvet cover as well i don't wash it every sunday i usually wash it once a month i didn't wash it last month so i need to wash it this month um, but I'm about to make up my bed and tidy up a little bit before we go pick up Jalen. She gets off work at 10 o'clock, as you guys know, at the Mickey D's. Um, and yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. I don't know if you guys are y'all tired of my montage of me cleaning up this damn room. I swear, every time, every time I vlog, I'm cleaning up some. But that's that's home ownership. That's being a responsible adult. It's forever cleaning. When are we not cleaning? Like, can y'all tell me when? Whenever we not cleaning? I feel like I'm always cleaning, always washing dishes, always washing clothes, always putting clothes away. How I get glitter on my face? I don't even know where this glitter came from. Where did this glitter come? Oh, from that phone case. I put that phone case back on. I can't get it off my face, y'all. So you just see my face glitter if it don't go away. I think I got it. It'll just be another one later. But anyway, I'm going to make up my bed. I'm going to watch a movie. 
So one of my favorite 80s movie, of course, we already talked about this, is a movie called Feds. Have y'all ever seen a movie? If not, you need to watch it. It's called Feds, and it's about these two women who, um, it was back when, like, the Army, Navy, police officers and stuff had to start, like, letting women in. I forgot what they call it, but they had to start, like, letting women in, sort of like G.I. Jane, where you have to let a woman in and... They had a quota to meet and all that kind of stuff. So these two young ladies um, back in the 80s were led into the FBI Training Academy. And it is the funniest movie ever. But it's also about, you know, uh, discrimination against women and just thinking they're not as smart as men. And men just being so damn arrogant all the time. But it's such a good movie. I love it. I watch it all the time. It looks like this if you guys want to know what the poster looked like. It's called Feds, and it stars um, Rebecca D. And I forgot that lady's name, but I really love this movie. It's from freaking October 28th of 1988. I told you guys I'm such an 80s movie person, but I'm about to watch that while I clean up because it's such a funny movie. If you haven't seen it, you have to check it out. I always give you good re movie recommendations, I think. I'm a movie buff. But anyway, let's make up our bed and... Let's tidy up a little bit, child. Let's be responsible and shit. Jalen. Oh, it is currently 9.02 and I'm finished cleaning up. I put up all of the laundry. Um, My son actually, he just left for work, y'all. He talking about he forgot that he had to go to work today. Child, he probably supposed to be to work at 5 o'clock. He ain't here to eat some. I don't even know why they even asked him to come in, child. Unless they must be really slim. Anyway, we're probably leaving a few minutes to go get Jalen. And then um, we get home. I probably been to knot my hair up for a style tomorrow, heatless style for tomorrow for Thanksgiving. And then I haven't decided what I'm going to wear. If I'm just going to be chill, laid back. I feel like I'm going to be chill, laid back tomorrow. Like jeans, t-shirt, blazer or something. I don't know. Nothing too fancy. Just going to hang out with the little kids. You know, I'm going to be all over the flow playing with them and all kind of stuff. So, I know you're getting all dressed up and fancy or whatnot. So, yeah. I did finish that book. Child, let me tell you something about this ethic man. Let me tell you something. This book just be taking me down through there. Like, I started watching this movie instead of <laughs> picking up the next book. Because I'm just, I'm just devastated, okay? I'm devastated. This girl done wrote this book and got everybody in their mammy in their feelings about these damn characters like I, I i love these types of books but man the way they take you like i said on these emotional roller coasters ain't no joke so i gotta read ethic number three next let's see where is it so ethic number three i got that book today 
And let me, uh, I also started reading this book. It's kind of, I don't know if I'm going to enjoy that one, y'all, to tell you the truth. And it really has nothing to do with the ethic book. It has more to do with the way it's written. They just keep repeating the same thing over and over again. Like, I'm not even that many pages in. I'm like, well, how many times are you going to say that, child? We figured it out. We understand what you're trying to say. Stop repeating yourself. <laughs> But I like to give folks a chance. So I'll probably end up finishing the book. But I don't know how long it's going to take me. It'll probably, probably take me a whole month of December to finish the book. For real, for real. But anyway, so. Ethic Part 3 is what I'm on. I literally listened to. I think that Ethic book for like a couple of days. So this one is Part 3. And it is. How many pages is this? They're pretty short. Uh, and then the lady had nerve to put. To be continued in the Ethic Final Book. Ethic four, but yeah, she got six books. She thought she was done in 2019. She wasn't done, y'all. So this book is uh 251 pages. So they're pretty short. Um, probably pretty good, pretty fast reads. Um I just gonna end the book too. I broke your heart. Let's see if I can mend them, grab it, rewind. So this is what she said. She said I'm getting, she said, Ashley Antoinette, novel number 14, and I'm just getting started. In book two, I broke your hearts. Let's see if I can mend them. Grab your wine, Antoinette. <laughs> and it says, to the ladies, never settle for less than Ezra Ethic Ophar. Baby, Ethic Ophar need his ass whooped. Ain't nobody selling for his ass. Shit. <laughs> it says you should listen to these songs as you read this. No, I'm not listening to no songs. You're not going to have me fucking crying. Ashley Antoinette, damn it, now. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but these books are good. She's a good-ass writer, so I'll probably start this tonight sometime and try to finish it up tonight and maybe get started on four tomorrow. Like, I'm trying to read these, like, 250 pages really isn't that bad as long as you get um, into it good. So, let me finish watching my little movie. What I can watch before I pick up Jalen, then I'll finish the rest of the movie tonight. If I'm not finished yet, and then I will get started on this book so it can just devastate me and break me all the way down. But I enjoy it. <laughs> So we're back from picking up Jalen from work. As you said, I'm on my pajamas. And my headscarf. It is 10 to 47. And I'm about to watch the last. Ooh, what? Is that 60? That's the last like 20 minutes of this movie. And then I am going to bed. While I was sitting in the parking lot, I did start the third book. Of the ethic, but I'm not that far in. I'm only on chapter two. It's only on page eight, but they already with the shit said <laughs> like is this book. I'm like, I don't know. If I get if I don't get too sleep, I might stay up and read a little bit, but I doubt it. I think I'm gonna be sleepy by the time this movie is over with. So most likely I won't stay up. So I might wake up kinda early when I get up early in the morning. Um I might get up and do a little reading. Do a little catch up or whatever on it. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I know it wasn't all eventful, but that is basically what I did today. Um, so, yeah, that was what was going on. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.